Hello everyone. Welcome to our discussion on planning community health interventions. There is a quote on planning that goes like this. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. This means that by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Planning is very essential in all aspects of nursing. Planning has been defined in many ways by many authors. What is common among these authors is that planning is a process that entails formulation of steps to be undertaken in the future to achieve a desired end. Planning takes place in order to efficiently allocate available resources. This implies that assesses the extent and natures of the problems for which the program is being planned, taking into consideration constraints and limitations that might affect the decision. Planning for groups, population, and communities involves the application of nursing process. Since a lot of factors in the external environment need to be considered by the nurse, Planning for nursing programs and services generally becomes more complex. For nursing programs, the nurse will find himself working with other members of the health team or with other sectors who may have different orientation or strategies in terms of viewing solutions to community health problems. According to Mercado in 1993, Planning is futuristic. In planning, you think ahead, looking for an opportunity to achieve something with an end in mind. Planning is change-oriented. Change is constant. Planning will really deal with changes towards a better outcome. Planning is a continuous and dynamic process. Planning is dynamic and process that needs to be monitored. This will determine success in the attainment of your goals and objectives. And lastly, planning is flexible. Planning is flexible. It is important that you must have alternative plans. If plan A does not work, then go to plan B. Now, community health problems are conditions or situations that may interfere with the community's capability to achieve wellness. In order to keep the community healthy, the nurse provides a mechanism in terms of organizational structure, resources, and activities to achieve this end. The planning cycle according to Mercado in 1993. There are questions that you need to answer. Number one, where are we now? This is where we analyze the situation. Second, where do we want to go? In here, we formulate your goals and objectives. How do we get there? The community health nurse will design a strategy and set your activities. And lastly, how do we know we are there? Then this will evaluate your strategy. And evaluating your strategy will mean knowing its result. Let's go with the planning cycle. Planning cycle focuses on four important components, namely situational analysis, goals and objectives, strategy, and evaluation. For situational analysis, we gather health data 
We tabulate, analyze, and interpret data. We identify health problems, and we set priority. For the goals and objectives, we define program goals and objectives and assign priorities. For strategy, or we call it activity setting in other term, nurses design community health nursing programs as certain resources and analyze constraints and limitations. And lastly, for evaluation, community health nurse determine outcomes and specify criteria and standards. Then we go to priority setting under WHO considerations. First, we identify interventions. Identify interventions or priority issues to be considered. Next, finding evidence. This is the attempt to generate relevant evidence that can thereby help build capacity for generating local data. In other words, do your research prior to planning. Third, making decisions. Evidence itself is not the deciding factor and that decision making also requires interpretation of evidence. And lastly, making appeals. There should be a mechanism to appeal the decision made and criteria should be developed to ensure that there are valid reasons for making an appeal. Once the objectives are formulated, it is necessary to identify interventions to be implemented to achieve the objectives. Now, this refers to community interventions or action plan. Various actions are decided and implemented as being most effective in order to solve particular problems. Example, problem of malnutrition among under five. As the action is implemented, the community health nurses gives direct nursing care. She also helps the community to develop their own resources and mobilize outside resources. Now, why use SMART objectives? This is to provide a structured approach to developing and designing a work plan. To systematically monitor progress towards a target. To set the stage for measuring performance and identifying opportunities for improvement, and to concretely describe how goals will be met. Now let us have examples of goals and objectives. But let us consider that goals and objectives must be SMART, meaning specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound to achieve or maintain a normal weight of children aged 5 years old and below is one example of a goal. This is reflected if you make an objective pertaining to this goal and it goes something like this. By December 31, 2019, to increase the percent of normal weight children aged 5 years old and below by 95%. Notice that goals are general and objectives are specific. Another example of goals and objectives follows like this. Take this as, a, as an example. Health problem. High incidence of influenza among the community people of Barangay Bokal 
Marugondon Cavite, 75%. The goal is to reduce the incidence of influenza among the community people of Barangay Bukal, Marugondon Cavite, by half in four years. Now note the objectives. Objective A, our first objective, 90% of families will be free of breeding and resting sites of vectors in three years. There B, 75% of the families will adopt healthy lifestyle and sanitary practices in two years. And letter C, 100% of the families will have access to health services, especially care of acute respiratory infection, expanded program on immunization, and maternal and child health care. So note that ob objectives are measurable and has a certain criteria which has to be followed. Another example of community intervention or action plan. Just like the first example that we have, by December 31, 2019, to increase the percent of normal weight children aged 5 years old and below by 95%. So normally, our action steps will follow. The first action step is to conduct Operation Timbang. Now, we should know who is responsible. And usually, the nurse, the BHW, or the Barangay Nutrition Scholar is the one responsible for Operation Timbang. When it will be done, specifically by the month of August 2020. So, we have to consider resources. We need weighing scale, master list, and pen for writing. And then, this is very important, the strategy. Strategy include house-to-house -house visit in weighing children. And then, it will be followed by evaluation and monitoring. We do weekly monitoring of children's weight. Then, it will be followed by another action step to be able to accomplish our objectives. Specifically, we conduct feeding programs, which is conducted or facilitated by the nurse and the BHW. And sometimes, nutritionists are being tapped. And then, it, is, it will be held on the month of September to November. So normally, feeding program usually happens in three months period. Then we need manpower, money, and material resources for us to be able to do the actual feeding. And then the strategy, we conduct daily feeding activities, most specifically in barangay, health center, or in school facility. And then we monitor weekly the children's weight if there will be development. So this example of an action plan or a community health intervention will help the community health nurse to carry out her objectives and her goals towards community progress and development, which is based on her assessment. And this means that planning is very essential to be able to achieve objectives and carrying out our plans. I hope you learn from my discussion and uh, we will have more of objectives and goals in our next topic. Thank you.